Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing uh, how to measure voltage, current, and resistance using a DVOM or a voltmeter or uh, known as a multimeter. And this is a more advanced one. This is uh, one from Mac Tools, but uh, a lot of the stuff on this you don't really need. All you basically need is a uh, measure uh, voltage, current, resistance. So the first one I'm going to show is uh, how to measure voltage. And uh, on this one, exactly all you need is just this right here on the V, and that will get you uh, DC voltage. Now this circuit, as you know, as you can see, is a basic uh, parallel circuit. I have my uh, battery here, out the positive side. I have my switch up here, and I go out to the two branches, and voltage goes down, and then goes to the ground and back to the battery. So when I complete this uh, circuit, this uh, switch, both bulbs turn on. And when I open it up, both bulbs turn off. So when it comes to uh, measuring uh, voltage, one main point about it is that you line the uh, leads up in parallel to the circuit. So if I want to uh, measure battery voltage, I put uh, one here and one there. And as you see on there, you get about 1.6 volts. And uh, this one is just a generic basic battery. It's a really cheap circuit. Uh, even though it's not 12 volts like a car, it's still all the same exact principles. So whenever you're measuring available voltage, you always want to, one of the main points, you want to put the black lead, the negative lead, on a known good ground. And the best ground in a vehicle is the negative battery terminal. So we can just slip this one right in there so we uh, know we got a good ground. And uh, again, I'm measuring at the positive battery terminal, and I'm seeing my available voltage, which is about 1.6 volts. And basically, I uh, take this uh, positive lead, and everywhere I touch on the circuit, I will be looking for available voltage at that point. So right now, my switch is open, so I should see still my available voltage there, and sure enough, I do. But because my switch is open, I should not be seeing any voltage over here. And sure enough, I don't. I don't see any volts at either of those branches. But as soon as I close the switch and it goes, I should see 12 volts. Or excuse me, uh, my source voltage. Which, uh, after the circuit gets full, it'll change a little bit. So now it's at uh, 1.2 volts, which still should be over here. And yeah, so you got a little bit of resistance in there. But after it gets going, the voltage changed a little in this basic circuit. So now we're at uh, about 1.3 volts. And uh, same over there, 1.3. Now after the load, you should see 0 volts. And we do have a little bit, which means we have a little bit of resistance on this side. But basically we have 0 volts because these are, circuits are uh, opening it, it up. Uh, after... After the loads, the uh, voltage drops across the load. So basically the main point in this when it comes to uh, measuring uh, voltage is you line up your voltmeter in parallel with the circuit and you get your voltage. So as we can see here, got uh, 1.2 volts and 1.2 volts. And on the negative side, you don't see any. So that's basically uh, how to measure voltage you just line up your the main point is uh, you line your circuits your voltmeter up in parallel with the circuit and always make sure you have a good ground just anywhere you put the tip you should be seeing your voltage at that spot next I uh, will be uh, showing how to measure resistance all right so when it comes to uh, measuring resistance on um, this DVOM you just switch it from uh, over here at the V over here to the ohm symbol and you're simply on resistance uh, when you get like uh, in this case O point FL or basically most of them say OL that's basically an open you have infinity amount of resistance and that's when a circuit is open uh, so some of the main points when you're uh, measuring resistance in a circuit you will always want to isolate it you want to take your load off so you notice here I took the battery out you don't want a battery whatever you're measuring resistance of you want to isolate that from the circuit because the your voltmeter is basically applying its own voltage and measuring the current that's going through it and it kind of calculates out the resistance. And you basically do similar to uh, 
uh, voltage. You just kind of you line it up in uh, parallel with it, or you kind of isolate it. So if this branch was off, I'd basically be putting it between the two in parallel. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to put it right here at the negative part. I'm going to put the other one here. And so it's sending out its own uh, measuring uh, voltage. And basically on this whole circuit, I have about 1 and uh, 0.9 ohms of resistance. Uh, that's about how much resistance is in this whole entire circuit. So it kind of sent its own voltage out measure the current and calculate the resistance and that's basically how you do it for the on this case on the whole circuit is uh, you just uh, put it on the put the leads on there and it sends out its voltage and in this case I got about one ohm of resistance in this whole circuit alright so uh, notice what I did uh, here is I actually isolated this little circuit itself I took out this one branch and isolated it so it's connected nowhere in the circuit and uh, just showing a different way of if you wanted to measure a very specific part ohms of resistance of a circuit that first one I just did was basically the whole circuit but uh, this one I'm going to show measuring resistance on just uh, this one circuit itself so same thing you isolate it you get your uh, two leads on the uh, end and the beginning points on it and uh, this branch right here has about 1.6 1.5 uh, ohms of resistance. Now, notice how we had right there. That one branch right there just had more resistance than the overall circuit. As I explained in my uh, last video on basic circuits, that right there kind of proves that point I made is that uh, overall resistance in your whole entire circuit is always less than your lowest branch uh, that the lowest branch circuit resistance has. So that branch right there had about 1.5 ohms of resistance, whereas the whole circuit had less resistance. That's one of the rules of uh, parallel circuits. And like I explained, um, one of the ways to kind of see that is uh, when you have multiple branches, you're having more current. And in order to get more current, you basically are have to have less resistance. Kind of a weird rule in a parallel circuit, but that's how it works. And uh, one more, I'll show how to measure current. Alright, so I just actually uh, realized on my uh, voltmeter here, uh, to measure the current, both of my fuses are actually blown, so I won't be able to get a good, accurate uh, reading on my meter. It'll just keep reading zero. But I can still show how to line it up and how to do it and how to prepare for it. So in a voltmeter, you kind of go over here to these amps. Usually you can start up... Uh, here at uh, 10 amps, so this one handles 10 amps. You don't want to go to the sensitive one necessarily at first in case you have uh, say 9 amps going on in the circuit. If you go to the little one here that will blow the fuse, which uh, could probably uh, happen to this voltmeter. But uh, one of the main differences when you're uh, measuring uh, current is that you line the your leads up in series with the circuit. So basically you can measure anywhere in the circuit. Now as you see this is a series circuit so the current should be the same everywhere. So I can create an open right here. Put one lead on one side and put the other lead on the other side. So now the current will go through my one lead, go through the voltmeter, back to the other lead and then back to the circuit. Uh, you could basically be doing it over here at the switch too. So if I put uh, one lead right here on uh, one side of the switch and I put another lead over here. I'm lining it up in a series with it. And however much reading you get there is how many amps you have. Another thing is uh, when you measure on most DVOMs, you'll take out uh, the lead and you'll put it over to one of these. Some of these, even you actually switch the leads. The red one will go over here and the black one will go over there. But uh, basically the main point when you're measuring current with a voltmeter you line your circuit, your, you line your voltmeter in series with the circuit so it measures the current going through it. And that's uh, basically it on this one. I'll even show a good video that I learned this one since I didn't, my meter wasn't work. I'll post a link here on another good video that shows how to measure current. And basically, the overall, when you're measuring uh, current, you line it up in series with the circuit. When you're measuring uh, voltage, make sure you got a good ground and line it up with parallel. And when you're measuring ohms, you isolate the part you want to measure the resistance of, 
set the terminals on uh, leads on both sides and it'll show you your uh, resistance of that part. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe.